Surprise and the Balloon Man. One day, Surprise was delighted to see her old friend, the Balloon Man. Welcome back to Ponyland, said Surprise. I am glad to see you. The babies looked on in surprise. I have been travelling all over, but now I thought it was time to visit my pony friends, said the Balloon Man. May I have a balloon too? asked Baby Cotton Candy politely. Of course, smiled the Balloon Man. I know you are fond of flowers. He took some balloons and twisted them deftly and handed Baby Cotton Candy a large balloon flower. I'm afraid I can't make an apple, but will you take this balloon dog? said the Balloon Man to Baby Applejack. Happy Hooves, you are clever, cried the babies. Please make something else for us. So he did. Just then the naughty Thistle Pixies ran out. We'll burst your balloons, they cried gleefully. Heavy Hooves, he's burst one of my flower petals, cried Baby Cotton. You've withered my balloon flower. Just then, Majesty and Parasol came along and saw what was happening. Quickly, Balloon Man and you too, Surprise, make lots of balloons with long strings. These thistle pixies need to be taught a lesson. Majesty twirled her magic horn and sang, High in the sky you go, and take the pixies here below. Suddenly the balloons floated over to the pixies, the strings curled tightly around them, and off they went. Let us down! Let us down! wailed the pixies. No, I remember how you tried to steal Lemon Drop's cups, Majesty said. Please forgive us, they cried. We will be good. All right, Surprise said. Look, the balloons have popped now. Oh, we can't fly! Someone save us! called the Pixies. You don't deserve it, said Parasol. But the Pixies managed to catch the Parasol parachutes and float it down onto three very prickly thistles. Oh, look at our clothes! They're all torn! Now we won't be able to go to our party tonight! cried the Pixies. But the Little Ponies had a lovely party. The Balloon Man made lots of toys and showered lots of balloons down. Mm -hmm.